Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can add some really nice shadow to your animation. It is very easy to create and it can make your scene look attractive very easily. So before I begin, if you haven't subscribed to my channel then make sure to do that and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright so right now I'm in After Effects and here you can see I have already created a simple text animation. So we have this text and it is just animating in using the position keyframe just like this. And we also have a background which is white in color. So let's say you want to add a shadow to this text. So all you have to do is just simply select whatever layers you want to add shadow to it. And you can just simply right click and just click on pre-compose and let's call this animation just click on ok so now you can see we have this composition and now in order to add shadow we are going to select it and press ctrl plus t to duplicate it now let's select the bottom layer and we can rename it to shadow you can see that we have two compositions so in order to add the shadow we can select the shadow comp and just enable the 3d option so if you are not able to see this option just click over here and now we can select the shadow layer press r on the keyboard and you can add some rotation to it so we are going to change the x rotation value so you can just simply rotate it something like this and value around negative 85 to negative 88 it looks good and once you are happy with the rotation you can just simply select this layer using this point and just move it down something like this now you can see we have this layer over here and in order to make it look like a shadow you can just apply a simple effect called Caution Blur just drag it and apply it onto this shadow layer and you can increase its amount to something like 130 or 150 like this and now you can see we have added some shadow to our layer so if i play back you can see that the shadow is moving with the object and you will notice that the shadow is too bright so in order to make it more realistic you can select the layer press t on the keyboard for opacity and you can just lower down its opacity something like let's go with 30 and if i go back let's go with 30 so now if i play back here you can see we have this kind of animation and we have added some really nice shadow to our animation again if you want you can change the opacity if you want the darker shadow just increase it to whatever you like and you can add whatever element you want in this composition so let's say I can add a rectangle and also I can add a circle or ellipse whatever you call it it's just like this so now you can see we have added shadow to this layers also but you will notice that it is picking the colors from this these shape layers so that the shadow is also in red color so if you want the if you want the shadow to be in black color you can just simply apply a fill effect to this so search for fill and drop it onto the shadow after that you can just select the color and change it to black so now you can see we have black shadow again you can lower down its opacity so that it looks more realistic so this is how you can add some really nice shadow to your scene again you can just play around with whatever values you have so let's say let's add some different animation to this so let's quickly add a text preset to this and if i go under preset and let's apply this one so now you can see our text is animating you can probably change its color to white just like this now i can go back to the composition and i'm going to change the background color so you can select the solid go to solid settings and just change the color to something like this so that our text is visible now if you want the shadow to be closer to the your animation you can just simply select the layer and just move it really close to the text so that it gives an illusion that our text is standing on the floor and so if i play back here you can see we have this kind of animation and again it's totally up to you you can play around with the shadow opacity to make it look more realistic and you can add some more objects to this and it will automatically create the shadow so this is how you can create some really nice shadow in your animations. So that's it for this tutorial and if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel then make sure to do that and don't forget to press that bell icon. 
So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.